day 81 of the captain's log, April 8th, which means today is the total solar eclipse. I got to see it in 2017 and I have to say it was life-changing. The experience of having everything go dark and cold, birds stop chirping, insects stop making noise. I really wanted to see it in person this year, but I couldn't because we're down in Curacao. But I've got the next best thing. Bam! <laughs> best guest. This came from a guest who thought, I am going on Celebrity Beyond with Captain Kate and Bug during the solar eclipse. I have to bring her a t-shirt. Amazing. I'm going to go show this to my bridge team and see what they say. Mihai, what do you think of my shirt? It's wonderful. <laughs> what do you think of my shirt? <laughs> so cool. Isn't that neat? Yeah. It's like a god, mm. queen herself. What do you think of my shirt? So cool. I like the picture of back. We are in Curacao today and there's a lot going on. Last night we left Aruba, uh, 11 o'clock departure p.m. And then it was a 4.45 wake up call, so I had about four hours of sleep this morning. So I'll be heading to a nap, but the rest of the morning we had a bunch of meetings and then a walk around that was about an hour and 15 minutes checking the maintenance around the ship. One of the areas we did was the kids club. And honestly, you could leave me here for a couple of hours on my own because we have a light bright wall. Do you remember light bright? Oh, and I find this interesting. Did you know that we have an original statue from the SS Normandy, the 1935 ocean liner that was built in San Nazaire, France, the same place that Celebrity Beyond was built? Standing at eight feet tall, and I know it's rude to discuss a woman's weight, but La Normandy is an impressive 1,000 pounds. We fondly call her the Chocolate Lady, and originally she graced the top of the grand stairway from the first class smoking room on the Normandy, but later in 1954, she was found in a scrapyard in New Jersey. She was purchased by the then new Fountain Blue Hotel in Miami Beach, Florida, and in 2001, Celebrity Cruises bought her for a rumored $1 million, where she proudly stood in the main dining room on Celebrity Summit. This is during her installation on Celebrity Beyond because during a recent dry dock on Summit, she was removed so that she could call Celebrity Beyond her new home. But for my Summit days, I remember her toes used to be shiny from constantly being rubbed for luck. And speaking of luck, or maybe it's the eclipse, but just before my nap, I got a call from my boss in Miami asking me to extend my contract by a couple of weeks, which is not a problem. I just have to rearrange some doctors and dentist appointments, but I'm happy to do it. And what that means is you get a couple of extra days or weeks of the captain's log.